I literally cannot wait for prom. Can you? I know, it's gonna be so much fun. Have you got your dress yet? Yes, have you? No, but this is the one that I wanna get. I showed my friends the photo of the dress that I had chosen. It was the most beautiful dress I had ever seen. It was strapless and bright red. Oh wow, Trisha, you look amazing in that dress. <laughs> I looked around and saw my mom standing in the doorway. You won't be able to wear that. You're too fat. My heart sank when I heard what my mom had said, and I almost burst into tears. I could see from the shocked looks on my friends' faces that they couldn't believe what my mom had just said. But before I go on, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any crazy stories. I couldn't understand why my mom was home. She worked the night shift, so I thought I would have the house to myself. Why is she here? Before I had a chance to reply to her mean comment, she left and went to the kitchen. As soon as she was out of hearing, my friends began whispering. I can't believe your mom said that to you. That was such a horrible thing to say to someone. You're not fat. Don't listen to her. You will look amazing in that dress. Thanks, guys. I know you're shocked at what my mom said, but just ignore her. She always says things like that to me. My friends still looked pretty annoyed with my mom, but I just shrugged it off. Won't be a minute. Just got to get something from my room. I jumped up and ran up the stairs. Trish, for goodness sake, can you pick up your feet? You sound like a herd of elephants. I was so embarrassed that my mom had said that in front of my friends. And by the time I got back downstairs, they were getting really annoyed. That's not a very nice thing for you to say. I looked to see how my mom would react to what my friend had said to her. At first she froze, but after a few seconds, she just <laughs> smiled. Oh, I'm sorry. With that, she left the room. My friends all seemed happy that they had got my mom to apologize, but I knew that it was the worst thing they could have done. There was no way my mom would just let it go. I really couldn't enjoy myself after that. I think my friends could sense that something was wrong because they soon made their excuses and left. I had only just closed the door and my mom was there waiting to pounce. How rude of your friends to speak to me like that. I'm sorry, mom. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. You're right it won't happen again because I don't want them coming here anymore. But they're my friends. I don't care. I won't be spoken to like that in my own home. Oh, and don't think you'll be getting any dinner tonight because you won't. I watched as she stormed back into the kitchen. I knew that she was doing it in retaliation for what my friends had said to her. That's why I never invited my friends over when she was around. I couldn't trust her not to say something horrible to me. The only reason I had asked them over was because my mom was supposed to have been working. I guess she must have been let off work early. I'm not really sure why my mom says the things she does. I mean, sure, I am a bit chubby, but I'm definitely not the obese monster that she makes me out to be. At first, it used to really hurt me when she said things to me, but then I just began to ignore her. It was easier to deal with if I just didn't listen to what she said, but I didn't want other people to know that that was how she treated me. It was so embarrassing. When I woke up the next morning, my stomach was rumbling really loudly. I was absolutely starving. I went downstairs to the kitchen and got myself some cereal. At least my mom was at work so I could eat my breakfast in peace. But I had just put the first spoonful into my mouth when my mom came and sat at the table with me. I looked at her in confusion. Shouldn't you be at work by now? She shot me an angry look and muttered under her breath. I got fired. Oh, so that's why she came home early last night. Now I understand. But fired? Now what will we do? That's awful, mom. What are you going to do? I'm not going to do anything. But what will we do for money if you don't work? I think it's about time you pulled your weight around here. I've decided that you can go out and get a job. You're kidding, right? No, I am not. But I'm only 16. I have school. I don't care about that. I've done enough for you. Now it's your turn to look after me. I couldn't believe she was serious. Please, mom, don't make me get a job. I want to finish school. Don't start begging, Trish. I've made up my mind. You had better start looking for a job soon. I could see that there was no way she was going to change her mind. I was so upset. How can she do this to me? But it was no use feeling sorry for myself. That wasn't going to change anything. So I started searching online trying to find work. But every job I saw advertised was looking for someone with experience. 
How could I have had any experience when I was only 16? When I met up with my friends, I told them what my mom had said. They were shocked. Well, who wouldn't be? She can't expect you to work. Just say no. I've tried, but she won't change her mind. It's just so difficult to find something that I can do. I know what you can do. What? Why don't you try modeling? <laughs> I can't do modeling. Why not? Well, for one thing, don't you have to be beautiful to be a model? My friends looked at each other and smiled. Er, hate to break it to you, but you are beautiful. My mouth dropped open in shock. Really? Yes, really. In fact, you're not just beautiful, you are absolutely stunning. You're not just saying that because you're my friends? No, seriously, Trish. You would make an amazing model. Look, just trust us, will you? Just agree to apply for a modeling job and see how it goes. I mean, what have you got to lose? When I got home, I looked at myself in the mirror. Am I really beautiful? I can't see it myself. But I decided to do what my friends had asked. I found someone advertising for a modeling assignment and sent off a bunch of photos to them. I really didn't expect to hear anything back from the job, so you can imagine how surprised I was when I received a phone call from them the following morning. Hi, is this Trish? Er, yes? Hi Trish, we're calling about your application for the modeling assignment. Oh, er, right. We would like to offer you the job. What? Seriously? Can you start straight away? Yes, yes I can. Okay, great. I couldn't believe what I had just heard. They actually thought I was good enough to model. After my first modeling job, the offers came rolling in. I began to become really popular. Everyone wanted me to model for them. And of course, with all the jobs, came a lot of money. I remember how shocked my mom was the first time I handed her some money. Even though I had kept some back for myself, it was still a lot of money. Where did you get this from? Something told me that it wouldn't be a good idea to tell my mom I had got the money for modeling jobs. I just felt that she would try to put me down. I've been waitressing. That's a lot of money for a waitress. Oh, the restaurant is in an expensive neighborhood, so I get really good tips. I thought that now that I was the breadwinner, my mom would treat me a bit nicer. But instead, she seemed to spend all of her free time insulting me. You're not going to wear that, are you? It looks terrible on you. You definitely don't have the right figure for it. Don't you think you should start dieting or at least do some exercise? It wasn't difficult for me to block out her words. I could handle it much better now that I knew I was beautiful. I mean, agencies wouldn't be booking me for modeling jobs if I wasn't beautiful, would they? I also know that I'm not unhealthily obese because Vogue magazine named me as the most successful plus-size teen model. You're probably wondering how I managed to hide my modeling from my mom, especially after the Vogue magazine cover went out. Well, that was easy. You see, my mom hated looking at pretty women, so she never bought a magazine and never watched any modeling shows on TV. I thought that I would be able to hide it forever, but one day, it all came crashing down. I was in the kitchen eating berry pancakes when my mom arrived home from shopping and came storming in. She slammed a magazine on top of my plate of pancakes sending them flying onto the floor. What is this? I looked to see what she was pointing at. It was a picture of me on the front cover. She looked like she was about to explode with rage. I was walking through the mall when I saw you on the front cover. Care to explain? Look, Mom, don't get mad. I didn't want to tell you. Well, it's too late now. You had better tell me everything right now. I haven't been waitressing. All the money I've been giving you has come from modeling jobs. But why would anyone want you to model? You're too fat. I'm not, Mom. I'm just plus size. Well, I'm not having it. You are not to do one more modeling job. Do you understand? I sighed. Okay, Mom. Even though I really enjoyed modeling, I knew that I had to give it all up. I called the agencies that I worked for and told them not to book me for any more jobs. When I told my friends my decision, they couldn't understand it. But why, Trish? You've been doing so well. Yeah, I know, but I hate modeling. But we thought you were having so much fun. You've never seemed happier. I guess I hid it well, but I don't want to keep pretending. I'm not going to ever model again. I could see that my friends weren't really convinced by what I was saying, so I just changed the subject so they would forget about it. It was a few days later, but I was at home when I heard a knock at the door. When I opened it, I got the shock of my life. Standing there were my friends, 
and behind them was a journalist with a cameraman. I just stood there staring at them as they walked into my house. I'm sorry, Trish, but this had to be done. This is all live right now. I couldn't believe it. But before I had a chance to say anything, my mom burst into the room. What are you doing here? It's all your fault, Trisha. Why did you let them in here? Is it true that you forced your daughter to stop modeling? Mom looked at the journalist, who had just asked her the question, and snarled. Yes, it's true. Of course I did. Wouldn't you have done the same thing? Just look at her. She's ugly and fat, and she doesn't deserve fame and fortune. For a minute, the journalist seemed to be lost for words, but she soon gathered herself together and started asking mom more questions. So you think your daughter is fat? Not just fat, she is obese. You don't think that she looks beautiful? Beautiful? No, of course I don't think she's beautiful. Suddenly, my mom stopped her ranting and looked at the camera. I think she had just realized what she had been saying in front of it. This isn't live, right? I mean, you can delete that footage, can't you? The journalist just smirked at her. Nope, this is all broadcasting live right now. She turned to look at the camera. You heard it live here, folks. Trisha's mom is the reason she has stopped modeling. Can you believe it? Justice for Trish. Justice for Trish. I wondered what my mom would do next, but she must have realized that nothing she could say or do would be able to make it right. She looked at me for a second and then ran out of the room. My friends came over and gave me a big hug. We hope you're not angry with us. We just knew that your mom was behind you quitting. We couldn't let you give up your modeling. We had to find a way to let everyone know the truth. After the truth came out, there didn't seem any point in giving up my modeling. I told the agencies to start looking for jobs for me again. Sadly, I couldn't work things out with my mom. Don't think I didn't try, because I did. But she was just too angry and bitter towards me. I decided that I couldn't live with her anymore. A few weeks after the episode with the journalist, I moved out of our house and found a place of my own. I never did find out why my mom had been so mean to me. Maybe it was because she was jealous of me, or maybe she wished it was her that was doing the modeling. I have no idea. But actually, I don't really care. I'm just happy to be free of her. And now my modeling is going from strength to strength. I'm on the front cover of all the magazines, and I've been booked to appear on TV too. My biggest thrill, though, was seeing myself on a huge billboard in the center of town. I often wondered to myself what my mom would have thought when she saw my face looking down at her. I can just imagine how angry she would have been.